looks like it's going to be a historic day for Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson. The Senate is expected to vote to confirm her to the Supreme Court. So three Republicans are expected to join all 50 Democrats to vote her through. When she is sworn in this summer, she will become the first black woman to serve on the nation's highest court. What do you think? I know. What do you think all of this historic first? I mean, just I, I feel like. You know, her race is clouding the fact that she's probably the most qualified candidate that we've ever seen in government. Like when I read her, her resume, I read it a couple of times. And I was like, there's no way, given how old she is, she could have done this. And then I really I, I know this is always going to come down to her being a, a, a black woman, which is obviously an incredible feat. But I felt like she spoke for so many of us, including all four of us on the panel, when she talked about being a busy parent and just like you got to be in Atlanta, shoot, uh, Georgia shooting a movie and I have to be on the road. And and like the guilt I felt from that and like how all parents that are trying to keep a roof over there, I felt her so much in that, like the sacrifice that you have to give because you only have 24 hours in a day. So I really, I really connected with her on that. It's not funny, so much the Harvard. Funny yeah. enough, you said that because I connected with her when she was talking about her parents moving from Miami mm -hmm. to D.C. to mm -hmm. give her a better life, That's right? Much sad. like my ancestors did mm -hmm. for my mom mm -hmm. and my mom did for me. But it's like, I can, that, there's no black to that story. There's no white. There's no Italian to that story. That's a story about loving right. someone. And sacrifice. You know? yeah. And sacrifice. Yeah, absolutely. That's, what, that's what I liked about it, yeah. And I love that she was a public defender. And if you don't know what that means, that means she helped people as their attorney where they're too poor to pay her. She will be the very first federal public defender ever that's on the bench. Beautiful. You don't understand. That's a huge deal that she represents an enormous amount of community in this country that has never been represented before. Bravo. Amen. Bravo. Amen. Welcome back to DBL. We have a quick update. The Senate confirmed the yes. Jackson to the Supreme Court by a vote of 53 to 47.